Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. As you can see, for goodness sake, the dog's having a poo. As you can see, it's snowed. This could be problematic. I've already got a very busy three days ahead of me from this point, and this could throw a massive spanner in the works because tomorrow we're having to drive up to Boston for Andy's uh, paediatrician appointment. He has a, a like quarterly paediatrician checkup. That's tomorrow. Ordinarily, not a problem at all. Driving up to Boston in this, potentially, a lot more problematic and then Thursday we have the child in need meeting at his school which comes off the back of the meeting that was last week the safeguarded meeting that I got all grumpy about but again both of those absolutely fine that time is budgeted for the issue comes if Andy's school is cancelled today because if he can't go into school today Anna will still be at uni and that means I don't think I'm gonna have any football manager videos out for three days so we're kind of banking on the taxi being able to come, him being able to get to school, and then today I need to do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday's videos because I'm not going to get a chance to do them Wednesday and Thursday because we're off doing various things. Also in amongst all that we need to find a time to get Dave into the vets which is easier said than done because I can't go when I, it's just me here because I've got to drive there and he'll just be an absolute nightmare in the car like he always is so it's not safe for me to drive on my own without Anna but also we can't do it when Andy's here because he'll refuse to do it so there's no way to do it today because Anna's not here when Andy's not here and then again Wednesday and Thursday we're in these various places there might be a pocket of time Thursday afternoon after the meeting because the meeting is at Andy's school and then he stays at the school and we come home so we might be able to get him to the vets then which is, I acknowledge that that's rubbish, but there's just, there's no way around it. I just need to hope Andy goes to school today. I am seriously doubtful about that taxi getting here on time. Mm. Well, he left about 15 minutes later than usual. Wasn't happy about the wait at all. He was pretty grumpy by the time he left, but he has gone. I don't know how far he's going to get or how long it's going to take. I'm in constant text communication with Anna who got on a bus an hour ago having left the house an hour and 15 minutes ago. It's normally a half hour ride to get her to college or uni or wherever she is today. What day is it? Nobody knows. And she's not even halfway yet. The, she put some pictures on Instagram. You should check her Instagram. Anna Lelujo on Instagram or Anna underscore Lelujo. But they've actually let some of the students off the bus to walk alongside the bus smoking and they're actually moving faster than the bus is. So, seems like getting into Peter is fun. It all bodes really well for us driving to Boston tomorrow. It's still snowing a little bit now and it needs to pack it in. This paediatrician appointment tomorrow is important. But now I need to get in there and get on with some work. And this snow needs to stop. Do you like the snow? <laughs> he absolutely loves snow normally, but I don't want to take him out any further than this, really, because of his foot. He is a lot better this morning, he's not limping, really, again. He's, got, he's a little bit ginger on that foot. A little bit ginger, walking a little bit gingerly. Can you be a little bit ginger? He's certainly walking a little bit gingerly, which is what I meant, but... He's not limping the way he was yesterday. It's, he's just done something to the toe, I think. And now he's having a, every time I turn the camera on that dog, he decides to have a poo. Ridiculous, there's also a really nasty icy patch just here as I walk out this back door. I just nearly went absolutely flying. Rubbing it with my foot to melt it even more, probably really helping. Really need to get out and do some work. Three videos recorded, have another one to do today, and then that will have me sorted through until Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. But then, oh goodness me, there's water pouring off the roof. But then Friday, I need to do another three to get me through Friday in the weekend. I don't know if you can see that dripping, where I guess the snow is melting on the roof above me. Not melting anywhere else though. Oh good, and it is actually raining now as well. Cracking. 
and this is the really icy bit from before that's melted too good right i've got about half an hour until andy is supposed to be home from school there's a good chance he's probably going to be later than that judging by all the reports from how the local traffic have been today but with a little pocket of time like this and all this snow around it seems like a little bit of a waste not to get out and about and see if there's any interesting stuff that i can maybe take some pictures of maybe do a little bit of video of one thing i am really trying to do at the moment and lucy keeps telling me failing miserably at is i want to get good at instagram so i want to try and find some decent photos that i can take and put on instagram quite jealous of the ones that anna put on her instagram this morning that she was taking from the bus but i also want to start using instagram stories properly so if you don't already follow me over on instagram and hopefully if you go back in time to yesterday you'll see some stuff that i shot now if it works You can tell I'm a complete novice about just grabbing the camera and heading out to see if there's anything to film because my camera's nearly out of battery and I didn't bring the spare battery. Oops. been out far longer than I was supposed to be. I've officially rolled the dice on the taxi being a little bit late getting him home just by a couple of minutes. Traffic seems to be moving fairly clearly out here on the main roads so I'm now going to walk home very briskly. I will be there on time. Home with time to spare. I'm out of breath but I made it home with time to spare. Hello? Yeah. Have you had a good day? Yeah. What did you do at school today? Good school. What did you do? Hey, uh, all that. Oh, I see. And you're watching Coronation Street again now, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Standard. And how's your foot? You're better today than you were yesterday again. Dave's still limping a little bit. We're going to try and get him into the vets Thursday afternoon, I think I said this morning. It's the only time we've got a decent pocket of time I can actually get him there. But he's not really limping so much now, so it's weird. It seems to be coming and going. We are a little bit worried. No. Not as worried as we were. I think it's something to do with his toe, possibly something to do with when he had his hair cut a couple of weeks ago, because they trimmed the hair around the toes, and I wonder if they've just either nipped him with the scissors as they were trimming the hair, or a couple of people suggested in the comments, maybe there's some hair bunching up between his toes or something that's just uncomfortable. He won't let us look, but there doesn't seem to be any obvious sign of injury, so we're not panicking. And like I say, he doesn't seem to be uncomfortable. Are you all right? Yeah. So let's have a look at the book then. Please can we have more custard? The one we've got in school has been opened for a week now. Then why they sent me home a pack of custard. The PA for the taxi handed me an open carton of custard. If it's done school, that's fine, ask us some more. Just throw the one you've got away. We don't need to throw it away here. And he has enjoyed his day in school, although he didn't have any food during lunch break. He had his rice krispies and custard around 2 p.m. Okay, so he had his snack time food presumably and then at this afternoon i mean that's fine if he's not going to eat at lunchtime but he's going to have two meals while he's there i'm not massively against that he's not going tomorrow because we've got this doctor's thing which i just realized i forgot to tell the taxi people about so i need to get on the phone to them now and so we get to the bit that i've probably clickbaited on the thumbnail and in the title and anywhere else i possibly could my my thoughts and ponderings about the future direction of the channel slash channels. I don't want to get too deep into it today. No decisions have been made. That's the important thing. Despite whatever future Kev has put as the clickbaity title, no decisions have been made yet. But I am in as part of a decision making process. And what I would like you to do to help me with that decision making process is future Kev should have put a poll up in that top corner. I still can't point. Lean forward a bit. There. About there. There should be a poll about there. Asking you 
what content first drew you to the channel, what content you enjoy most on the channel, what are you here for, mainly, what one thing could we not take away without ruining the whole experience for you, because I've been feeling increasingly frustrated with the vlog lately, because it goes from one extreme to the other. We get days, like those super focused days when we're out and about doing something, where it's so much fun. You've seen me playing around with different ways of editing, using music, really trying to stretch myself, be a little bit creative with it, make something that's a good quality film, in addition to being a record of what we did that day. But then we have some days that are just a bit rubbish. And I don't have the skill or the creativity or the inclination to make them good. It shows in the views that we get on the videos, the ones that I enjoy making the most, the ones that get the most views, they get shared around, they get more likes, they do better in the algorithm. And I think it's holding us back, having the ones that aren't very good mixed in with the ones that are good. And I think I, think I might be coming to the end of daily vlogging in its current form, don't panic. I'm not saying I'm gonna stop making videos, I'm not saying I'm gonna stop making daily videos, but I think I'm coming to the end of daily vlogging, and maybe coming to the end of daily videos on this channel. And what I mean by that is, the more I learn about filmmaking, about YouTube about social media the more important and the more obvious it becomes to me that I need to this this channel needs to ha have a theme it needs to be about something it needs to be about a topic just being uh, a diary of my day that's not enough that's great I mean, and don't get me wrong it's fantastic that you guys enjoy that but now we finally seem to be getting monetized on this channel again and it's not just a hobby and it comes under the umbrella of the business pretty much for the first time ever because before we started getting demonetized we weren't getting enough views to make any money so this is kind of the first week or so where we're actually generating any revenue on the channel and it's immediately got me putting my business hat on and i think it might be better for the long-term growth of the channel to have fewer high quality videos, not fewer high quality, fewer videos, but of a higher quality, phrase it right Kev, yeah I want less videos, I want them to be rubbish, no, just to have fewer videos of a higher quality around a consistent theme, now on first inspection at what, view, at what videos get the most views it seems obvious that that theme would be Andy and autism in general, but I don't actually know if that's the case, I don't know all, I can see that those are the videos that get the most views, but I don't know if they're the ones that convert into the most subscribers. So the, the, the poll that's up there, you've probably already clicked on it, and so you already know what the options are, but I want to know whether you're here for the Andy slash autism content, or whether you're here for the my nerdy stuff. You know, what I get up to, running a, running a business, being a YouTuber, tech stuff nerdy stuff, comic books and Funko Pops and things like that. And I've deliberately made it so you can only vote for one option. And I know a lot of you will be here for both. And don't worry, both types of content will continue to make, be made. I just don't want them to be smashed together into one video anymore. I don't want there to be one video that has me going out talking to you about how I'm trying to raise my Instagram presence whilst in the same video checking in with Andy about what he's done at school because the people who are here to check in with Andy have had to wait five, six, seven minutes to get to the bit they want. They might not get that far. If that happens two or three days in a row, they might get frustrated and not come back. Equally, the people who are just here because they want to they wanna hear my journey, once, once I start talking about family stuff, they might not be into that. So I want to make the videos more targeted and I think it makes sense to split the channel off in two. And I've talked about this before. I, if... If Future Kev's really on form in the morning, he might have even gone back and found the video where I talked about this probably six months ago, splitting the channel off in two, having an autism channel and a Kev channel. And I think, I think the time has come to do that. I just need to know, I need to make a decision about what this channel becomes and what 
I mean, you, you again, if you subscribe to the wrestling channel, you'll see that I've already renamed it. It's not Lelujo Wrestling anymore. It's just Kevin Chapman for now. It might become Andy's Autism Channel, and this might become the Kev Channel, or this might become the Autism Channel, and Kev might move across onto what was the wrestling channel. And there'll still be wrestling content wherever that is as well. So if you are subscribed for the wrestling, don't worry, wrestling's not going anywhere. Um, I'm kind of assuming this is going to become an autism channel and that's going to be the one I have to build up again. But it might be that the poll shows me the other way around. And actually, people come and have a look at the autism stuff, but they don't stick around to watch videos like this one. And actually, the people who are coming in day in, day out, I know that core sort of three, four, five thousand people who are watching every day, perhaps you guys are here for me for this. And if that's the case, <clears throat> we'll keep that here and we'll start growing an Andy channel separately. But I kind of need to see the poll results before I decide what to do. And uh, like I say, I'm still throwing ideas around in my head. I mean, feel free to have your say down in the comments. Um, I will take views on board. I won't be convinced or persuaded by anyone though. It will have to be a decision that I make based on what I'm happiest and most comfortable doing. Because... I, I wanna, and it's such a cheesy, cliche YouTuber thing to say, but I wanna feel like I'm challenging myself with what I'm doing. And at the moment, I feel like I get to do that maybe twice a week on this channel, at best. And the rest of the time, I'm trying to make a vlog out of a day that primarily doesn't involve me leaving the garage. It's very difficult to get a vlog out of that. but. What I could do if I had a Kev channel where it's not not pigeonholed by the word vlog and I've not got to do some vlogging so that I can include two minutes of Andy getting home from school and reading his book. If that's somewhere else and I've just got, right, I've got a blank slate. Here's a channel where I can just do Kev stuff. Then I don't have to vlog every day. I can vlog when I go somewhere and do something interesting. But some days I can just sit and talk about wrestling or video games or tech or social media or uh, filmmaking stuff or whatever it might be. And I'm not saying it's just going to be a channel where I sit here, talk there. Anna's phoning me. Hold on a sec. That was Anna reminding me that she now needs to go and put Andy to bed. So I'm going to stop ranting there. It was only supposed to be three or four minutes. I've already gone on longer than I wanted to. I just wanted to let you know where we were, where my thought process was. Please make sure you vote in the poll. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like I say, nothing is going to change in the short term for the next week. At least you can still expect your daily normal vlogs on this channel while I work out in my own head what I want to do. It's going to be a big change if I even decide it's the right thing to do and I need to make sure it is the right thing to do and I need to not mess it up. So throw opinions and thoughts at me by whatever means you want. But for now, I need to go back in the house and sit with Dave um, while Anna is taking Andy to bed. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel <laughs> for more daily vlogs for now. And thank you very much for watching.